I'm Andy Mack. I run a light box project here in Melbourne called Sibby Lights Projects and an indoor gallery called Until Never. I've been involved in the street art graffiti scene here since the early 90s. We've just come off Hosier Lane. We're in Rutledge Lane. This is a street that I started my light box project. There was no graffiti here in 1998. Uh, I had a, some studios in the building just above us here. There was a mixture of comic book artists, architects, designers, and street artists. And we started painting on one wall just back there around 2000. And the kind of street has just kept kind of growing. I really wanted to do something on the street. I didn't want to do graffiti. I wanted to do something different to that. And uh, there was, I was starting to see a lot of public advertising, light box advertising in Melbourne in the early 90s. And I also kind of felt like I'd had exhibitions myself in small galleries and I was just like, you don't reach anybody, you know, so the street really appealed to me. I also felt that people, you used to hear a lot, oh, I'd, I don't know how to understand art, right? Well, I was like, everyone understands advertising. So I wanted to make an exhibition space that used the medium of advertising and take advantage of people's inbuilt kind of understanding of that. Maybe even confuse them, like, is it advertising, is it art, whatever, but what I knew was they would look at it in a light box and they would naturally, their brain would start to try and decipher it because they already do that naturally with every ad they look at. Some parts of the street change every day, some parts of the street change five times a day, but there are some things here that are up to 10 years old. Sections of the wall like this, this spot can change on a weekend like five or six times. Someone rocks up, paints, takes a photo, leaves, next just goes on and on. You know, and the quality is not always that hot, you know, like this stuff is pretty raw. The community allows a mixture of stuff to happen here, so it's not always about like name artists, the top stuff. And Hosea Lane's not the only street in the city like this, it's probably the most prominent one, but there's a good half dozen, maybe eight streets. I mean, part of Melbourne's geography is what has helped to make this happen. It's a grid system which was state-of-the-art um, city design in the 1850s. But that grid system gave us a lot of little laneways, nooks and crannies. So it's, it's made it fantastic for street artists because you can do your work right off a main drag where no one can see you. So you walk anywhere in this city, every laneway has got stuff in it. Like Lonely Planet called this street the number one cultural destination in the country. Number two was the National Gallery in Canberra and number three was Kakadu National Park. People come here, they travel to Melbourne to look at street art. So a whole lot of little industries have popped up off the back of street art culture in Melbourne. There's, there's more than a dozen people conducting tours now. Some people have founded whole tour companies. They also do fine art tours, but it's all come off these streets. Street art and graffiti are now part of the high school curriculum here. So year nine kids do studies on street art and graffiti and, and looking at what is or is not art. But this street gets visited by kids from this high to people doing, you know, university studies. Okay, so this is like a pretty typical example of what kids are learning about. Laneway tour, one hour. In your opinion, is this is graffiti art? How do you feel about standing in the laneway? Why? Describe the atmosphere in the laneway. Do you recognize any images on the walls? What are they? Rutledge Lane is a space where people are free to express themselves through graffiti. Some of the art is commissioned by professional artists, but a lot is by unknown underground artists. Do you think that spaces like this are important? Why? Describe what you can smell. <laughs> Down here you can smell rats. 